Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between USB mode and data USB mode on the FT991 Alpha. And what you should consider if using the upper sideband mode for digital modes with your FT991. <music> My name is Pablo, call sign Victor Alpha 3, Hotel Delta Lima. If this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. In this video, I will show you the difference between USB and data USB mode, the bandpass filter, the processor, and the microphone equalizer. All right, for this uh, first test in, in USB, we're going to use a passband of 3200 Hz. Let's check the setting if it's correct. Yeah, 3200. And you can see here in the um, JTDX uh, waterfall, um, we are having about 100 Hertz, starting from the, uh, about 100 Hertz up to close to 3200 Hertz around here. I can see a little bit of uh, shade of blue in the, in the waterfall on this part of the, of the waterfall. So as you can see in USB, it's pretty, pretty wide, the, um, the, the audio passband. And here there is a signal around uh, 2900 that seems to be receiving very nice. I am not in the FTA frequency um, in purpose. I am in a part of the band that is uh, no activity. All right, let's do the same test. Mode, data USB. Let's check that the the, um, the passband is the maximum that is showing is 3000. Let me decrease a little bit of the gain. So around uh, the same level of audio gain that uh, we had on the um, USB, we can see here the um, the audio passband, even if it's, it's just 200 Hertz, um, less in data USB than, than USB, you can see clearly here on the waterfall, the audio level is much, much lower. And uh, I don't have any other filter or anything uh, turned on on the radio. Just I want to just make sure there is uh, no noise blanker, anything, no other filters. No contour, no DNR, no, no DNF, no notch, and no shift. So there is no other filters enabled on the radio. And you clearly, you can see that is in, in data USB, you almost, you have half of uh, the passband that you have in USB. It goes from around 250 Hertz to um, 1500 Hertz at the same audio level of USB. And for some reason, there is something here on a very low frequency from zero to 50. But uh, that's, that, that's the test. That's, that is the, the experiment that I wanted to share with you uh, because it's a big difference in, in, in the, um, between USB and data USB on the width of the passband uh, compared at the same audio uh, level. If we decide that we prefer to use the USB mode for the digital mode, the first thing that we need to do is to disable the processor. To do that, we go to F and we have processor is currently on on my radio and the value is 50. So I'm gonna click once, twice, and now the processor is off. This is the first thing to disable in USB when using uh, digital mode. The next step is to ensure the microphone equalizer is off. In my case, I don't use the radio microphone equalizer because I use this microphone when I operate the um, USB or LSB mode, the voice modes on the radio. So as you can see on the screen uh, of the radio microphone equalizer is off. 
Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy the, um, the experiment I, I hope you enjoyed this test and you learned something from this video if you like it please uh, hit like if you um, have any comments or any questions uh, for me please uh, leave it uh, at the bottom on the comment section and I will answer as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe thanks uh, for watching and until the next time